Lisa X, Cola Bottle Again, Guitar Playthrough with uh, Azuki from Namophila and Lisa X. Then now as her band called Koyai. <laughs> Still with uh, Azuki, but they have uh, uh, different bases, which, if I'm not uh, wrong, is um, Lisa X's brother. Um, and they have a, a different drummer, which is a girl too, I think. And uh, they have a different singer, which is Kotono. Which she was in another band, which I don't remember the name now. But still a very good, very good singer as well. Very epic intro for a cola bottle song. Really nice absence, right? Man, can't get over on how good uh, Lisa X is, uh, despite how young she is. Like, she's a virtuoso guitarist, basically at, I think, 20 years old, 19 years old. Now that solo was incredibly amazing. I loved it. I loved the double tapping part, the sweep picking, the very fast part. Uh, it was still very, very short though. Maybe a little bit longer would be cool for me, but uh, yeah, very cool sounding. Right?
Well, uh, this band basically um, mixes um, progressive metal with J-pop, right? Especially like the, the general melodic vibe of the song and uh, the vocals on the song give you that very, very strong J-pop feeling to it. Very, very melodic, you know? But still, like at its core, uh, riffing-wise and guitar-wise, um, it's definitely progressive metal-esque sounding, you know what I mean? And um, the thing that makes uh, this band cool for me is definitely their technique. Like Azuki and uh, Elisak's technique it keeps me interested in listening and watching them play, for sure. But as I was saying before, uh, the general vibe of the band, even if I like hearing a couple of their songs here and there, uh, I can't really listen to too much of their music in a row because they're a little bit too soft for me. Maybe that's, that's because I'm super duper used to listen to super heavy fast stuff. But uh, yeah, even though I appreciate their music because they are great players, after like two or three songs, I have to swap and listen to something faster. You know what I mean? That's just me, of course. That's just me. But yeah, they're they are great for sure. Um, it's more uh, Western pop sound, which creates a shredding. Yeah, if, yeah. Uh, it's more Western. Yeah. Uh, we are trying to soften you up little by little. <laughs> I mean, opening opening the channel on YouTube already softened me up a great deal. Because if you if you knew the music that I was listening, and you kind of know because I've been talking about it, but uh, if you knew the music that I was listening before um, starting the channel was totally different, totally different. Like, I wouldn't even think about listening to Bandmade or even Love Bites. Or even Namophila would have been a little bit too soft for me. <laughs> so yeah, I like my, my musical taste changed a lot, a lot, just by opening the channel, you know what I mean? I mean, I, I'm a guy that listened black metal, grand core, death metal, um, technical death metal for like 15 years. So yeah.